I have been developing a major bro crush on, you've heard me talk a lot about him lately, on NFL superstar Jason Kelsey, right? I, I, I really got into him and his brother, Travis Kelsey's podcast. It's fantastic. I love the documentary of him on Amazon. I was watching just, that last night. Oh, where, where are you? Yeah. What did you think? It's great. Right? I didn't get just, to finish it. I just called Kelsey. Yep. Right? Where this big, true definition of a man's man yeah. who is so 100% dedicated to his wife and his three little girls. Like, he is the true definition of a man to me, right? Well, then he went viral the other day because he was at the Buffalo Bills Kansas City Chiefs game, they're supporting his brother because yeah. his Philadelphia Eagles are out. And then this picture, of course, went viral. Jonathan, you got that? Uh, the, yeah. You can bring this up. This picture went viral. Where in like negative freezing temperatures, he took off his shirt, went out into the crowd, and Buffalo fell in love with him. And the internet went wild. Like this went completely viral, right? But a new thing that happened at that game started going viral last night. What happened was, of course, Jason Kelsey gets all ramped up. He's had a few beers, takes his shirt off in the minus, and then he climbs out of the private box that he's in with Taylor Swift and Cara, Dara, uh, Cara how do you? Delavine. Delavine, Delavine. And, you know, his mom and his dad and all that. He climbs out and goes amongst the people, right? And By the way, this could have gone wrong 30 different ways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> many, many different ways it could have gone wrong. But he climbs out, and of course, he's there supporting the Kansas City Chiefs, but the fans of Buffalo love him, right? He's one of them in many ways. Well, what happened was, and this just started going viral, and this just made everybody love him even more. He sees some little eight-year-old girl with her mother with a sign. The little girl made a sign. It said, Taylor Swift and the Buffalo Bills, best first game ever. So I guess it was her first time going to a football game. <laughs> So Jason Kelsey, shirtless, mountain of a man, apparently goes over and says, let's go show this sign to Taylor. And the mom is like, the only shirtless drunk man I would ever let pick up my daughter. And he picks up this little girl and he takes her, carries, goes back up and carries her up to the booth and holds her up so the little girl can show her sign to Taylor. And Taylor clapped for her and smiled. And then the little girl just started bawling, <laughs> like bawling her eyes out because she got this like reception from Taylor Swift. So takes her back. I, I mean, I am, I just, I'm not a big fan of musicians. I'm not a big fan of whatever big superstars. I'm a fan of really great people. And every time I see anything that this guy does, it's just like, this is what men should be like. And I just thought it was, and it was going, like I saw this one, I saw this one comment. It was much like the Henry Cavill comment, but this is going viral on Instagram and everywhere. And <laughs> girlfriends, I watched this and I got pregnant. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but I mean, good on him. Good people doing good things. Now, the reason I brought that up, uh, besides the fact this is awesome, is that this leads us into our next topic in some ways. And that is this. You know, the other day we did a story here on the John Campia show about Netflix. Did you see this? got the rights to WWE Monday Night Raw. Yes, they did. At $500 million per year for 10 years, starting next January. A $5 billion deal. And one of the things we said about on the show was that this is brilliant for Netflix because what's the streaming paradigm all about? Getting new subscribers. That's all that matters. And now you're going to have millions and millions of wrestling fans that are now, if they want to watch their Monday Night Raw, they got to have Netflix. This is going to get them new subscribers. That kind of led the discussion into about how all the major streamers, including Max and everything, have been dabbling in sports, trying to get more into live events as well. Well, how big can it get? And that is the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, guys, if you got a question for the show and you'd like to hear your voice on our show, go ahead and call our hotline anytime at 951-268-4259. And today's is about streaming and how big of an impact sports can have. Check it out. 
Hey, John and crew. This is Joey from Cleveland, Ohio. I had a question that was kind of related to Netflix's recent rights acquiring of the WWE Raw in the next 10 years. With the Super Bowl coming up fairly shortly, obviously not this year, but how far away do you think we are from having one of the streamers acquiring the rights for the Super Bowl? Even if it's just a one-time event, I would imagine that'd be a pretty penny to get the rights for that. But what are your thoughts on that possibility? Thanks. Have a good day. All right, Joey. Thanks a lot for sending that in. Now, I'm not really aware of the current status of the length of contract for the Super Bowls. I think right now all the major networks are uh, hopscotching each other. Like, I think CBS is covering it this year, yeah. and the next year might be Fox. and the, yeah, But that will end at some point. There'll be a limitation to that contract. What are the chances that a Netflix, a Max, a Disney Plus, a Peacock, at some point that if you want to watch the Super Bowl, you're going to have to be a member of one of these streaming services. I'll tell you what the odds are. 100%. And if they weren't 100% as of three weeks ago, they're definitely 100% today. Because, and this report just came out. You guys remember, we talked about this, that, you know, for the first time ever, there was an NFL playoff game, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Miami Dolphins, that you couldn't watch on anything except a streaming service, Peacock, Peacock only. Well, how successful was it? This comes to us from IndieWire. With 2.8 million new Peacock signups over a 72-hour period, the Miami Dolphins versus Kansas City Chiefs game was the impetus for the biggest subscriber acquisition moment ever observed <laughs> by streaming measurement company Antenna, which has been in business since 2019. The term moment is important here as it refers to a three-day span. The largest ever single day for streaming signups remains for Disney Plus on its launch day. But aside from your launch day, the day we launch, okay, you get a bunch of subscribers there. Not Netflix, not Max, not Disney Plus, other than the day they launched and turned on their service. Nothing else. The biggest quote-unquote moment for a streaming service getting new subscribers was Peacock, and it wasn't the, an Oscars ceremony. It wasn't Elton John live at the bowl. It was a football game that got them nearly 3 million new subscribers in one little window, just like that. This is not a sports story. This is a streaming story because this is why these numbers like this, and this wasn't even a Super Bowl. This wasn't even a divisional final. It's stories like this that all the streamers are looking at and going, <laughs> and thinking about all the new subscribers they can get with WWE Midnight, uh, uh, Midnight Raw, Monday Night Raw, maybe with, with NHL, Major League Baseball, NBA. More and more of these streaming services are getting into the sports not because they think, you know, all movie fans are sports fans, but because they know live sporting events bring in viewers. I was looking at a chart of the top 30 most viewed television broadcasts of 2023. I think like 19 of them were NFL games. Hmm. And I think of the top 20, like 17 of them were NFL games. It's crazy, but what are the chances that one of these streamers at some point is going to put up the ludicrous amount of money they'll have to pay the NFL to have the rights to broadcast the Super Bowl? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Factor. Get started on your resolutions with Factor so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery store and prep work because you know what? Sometimes we just don't feel like prepping our own meals. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll 
have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Forget frantic lunch preps and rushed dinners. Factor's two-minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant-quality meals all delivered right to your door. And Factor now offers loads of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep me going no matter what's on the schedule. It's time to skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. And Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Rob, I think it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. It'll definitely happen at some point. How do you interpret all this? Because this is a lot of information. Well, first of all, I think that clearly, I mean, we are talking about this before the show started. How much money does a streamer have to spend to garner subscribers? Like you said, it's all about subscribers. And I was reading this article about what Netflix was spending on these large ticket movies like Red Notice or The Gray Man. $200 million, $220 million. I bet they sub paid substantially less, or Peacock paid substantially less, to run the the Dolphins Kansas City Chiefs game on their on their platform. How many sub and and they they got this many subscribers? This yeah. is a huge epic win for comparatively not as much expense. And I think the thinking behind the streaming wars has been such where they're they're and they're also John licensed content is proving to be more lucrative than original content that the streamers are making. We've seen that with Suits. You know, we've seen that with other... Uh, Seinfeld, The Office. They're putting Sex yeah. in the City on Netflix, you know, because what Warner Brothers Discovery is now licensing out their material rather than making exclusive to their own platforms. And everybody, it's the Wild West out there. And I think this shows that sports, like you said, sports is an evergreen. You're always going to make money from sports. And and if they make exclusive deals for these kinds of things, the NFL, I mean, I think it's win-win. It's win for the streamers. It's win for people uh, that want to see, you know, their shows or whatever and and the, the games they want to watch. So as far as the streamers go, I don't think they can go wrong yeah. licensing th sporting events. And I think because it's a one-day thing, let's say Netflix, they booked the, the Super Bowl. Even if you have the ad free, I think you're still going to get the Super Bowl with ads. That oh, would... oh, yeah. They, there's no way around that. Yeah. They right. Be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, guys, what do you think about that? I, I mean, that's huge because you think you'd hear about a, the biggest single day subscriber thing. You'd figure that would be a Netflix thing or you'd figure it'd be maybe a Disney Plus thing. But it's kind of crazy to see and and maybe kind of surprising that's taking them so long to look at merging these things. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.